Hello everyone! So today we will just do some tips and tricks on the Microsoft PowerPoint. So first thing that you need to keep in mind is that your PowerPoint should be at least using the MS Office 365 version. Okay lang kahit hindi po plus yan. Basta 365 because it's the latest one and madami siyang features comparing to the old version. So let's start using this template. Type in tayo na title and subtitle. Okay, and then right click new slide. Now, sa opinion ko lang naman, I really don't use the layouts kasi when you do right click and check layouts, di ba? Madaming kinds of layouts sa pwede kang gamitin. Pero for me kasi masyado siyang limited. So what I always use is the blank one and then I just insert pictures and do animations para maging interesting your slide. Now, today, since new normal na nga yung target natin, let's format the background of this slide. Choose picture. Click on insert. From a file. And then I have here is a desktop. I've prepared some PowerPoint pictures that I can use and I downloaded this blackboard background para blackboard feels na. So, kunwari sa blackboard pa rin nakatingin yung mga estudyante nyo. Now, nakikita nyo na nakakairita yung theme nandyan pa rin. You just have to click or check hide background graphics. So, yan na. Um, ano na yung background ng slide nyo? Isa na siyang blackboard. Now, paano kung gusto nyo ulit siyang gawin sa isang slide? Instead of doing it all over again, Click on that slide, press on Ctrl and C for copy, right click, and then press K on your keyboard. So yeah, ganyan lang kadali mag-copy paste ng isang slide. Now, gawa tayo ng, maglalagay ako ng, since I'm a music teacher, I'm going to put a heart to represent the heartbeat in music. So yeah. Now, I want to change shape fill. Ibig sabihin yung color ng loob ng picture or object. So, let's turn it into this red. And then, shape outline. Of course, yung outline ng picture. Now, again, control C. And hindi ko na binibitawan yung control. And then, I just choose V, 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 N. Hindi nyo naman kailangan pa ulit-ulit gawin yung control c v control c v Basta na control c mo na siya, kahit ilang V pa yung gawin mo, ipipaste siya ng ipipaste yung previous object na kinapi nyo dun sa, sa slide. So, paano i-delete yan ng mabilis? control z Yan. Ayusin na natin. So, what I love about the uh, MS Office, meron ng grid lines to just guide you kung pantay-pantay ba yung pagkakalagay mo. Gamitin mo yan. Sayang naman yung feature na yan. Ayan. So, paano kung gusto ko siyang i-copy-paste ulit sa ibang slide? Tamad version is, ulitin mo yung control c control ay right-click, and then K. So, ayun na, lumabas sa kabila. Pero kasi, minsan gusto kong iurong ng iurong yung hearts, within that same slide. So, what I do is click on that heart, hold on the control key on my keyboard. Nakita nyo, nagkaroon ng plus yung cursor. Then, I click on the next picture. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, sabay-sabay ko siyang pinili. Then, bitawan yung control, right click, and then group. That way, magkakasama na sila. So, kahit urong mo siya ng ilang beses, magkakadikit na yan. And so, lagay naman tayo ng, ng lines for the beat keepers. Yun ang tawag namin dyan. So, again, gusto ko siya maging black. And then, wait, kakapalan ko siya. Masyado siyang manipis for a beat keeper. Palitan natin to. Pangatawan na natin na whiteboard siya. So, gawin natin white. Ayan. Again, control C and then V. V ulit. And then V. 
Yeah, there you go again. Control C plus plus plus, and then right click para maggroup mo yung lines. So pwede mo na siyang i-copy as a whole. If ever magdadagdag ka pa ng beatkeeper sa baba. Hello to fellow Kodai practitioners there na gumagamit ng beatkeepers. Okay, so now lagyan na natin to ng rhythms. Tamad way, dinadrag and drop ko lang talaga. Yan. So adjust, adjust na lang. Kung nakikita niyo medyo malaki yung Oh, I'll text it. Okay. Pag medyo malaki yung, what we call this, yung frame ng picture, pwede mo namang i-format and then crop. Yan, dito natin. There you go. Para pag clinic mo siya, ayan o. Oh, ayan na lang yung kailangan mong i-adjust. So, lagay natin siya dito. Eh, hindi. Bibigyan ko pala kayo yung tips and tricks. So, sorry. Lagay ko muna siya sa baba. Now, kung gusto nyo pa rin siya maging whiteboard or blackboard feel rather, sorry, click on the picture. And dito yung mga options para baguhin nyo yung picture color. Saan ko ba ginawa yun? Recolor. So, pwedeng ganyan. O, di ba? So, mukha siyang drinowing sa blackboard. Okay. Kabit na natin yung next rhythm. Ito, ang liit ng picture, ang laki ng frame. So, again, crop. Make sure in, um, kiniklik nyo yung format tab. Pero, automatic naman na siya pag nag-insert kayo ng picture na nasa format tab na siya. So, crop ulit. Tingnan natin kung ilang minutes na lang ang recording ko. Okay, may time pa. Ulitin ko. Format, and then... And adjust natin siya. Sabi na natin siya dito. Ayan, medyo hindi pa rin maayos yung pagka-crop. I'm so sorry. Ito. Ayan. Okay, now click ko siya ulit. Again, picture. Itong picture icon. Recolor. Ito ata yung ginamit ko. Tama ba? Parang hindi. So, nasa baba. Ayan. Oops. At ganun. Anyway. It's, just, it's a different picture anyway. Okay. So, yan. Now, add natin yung last rhythm, which is the quarter note. Baba natin dito. Ito okay na to. I don't think i-crop ko pa siya. Papantay lang natin yung, yung tangkad niya sa ibang rhythms. Okay. Again. I-recolor natin. And to white. There. Now, alam naman natin yung basics ng animations. No doubt about that. Siguro iilan na lang yung hindi gumagamit ng PowerPoint sa class. So, dagdag natin to. Now, just, ano, for fun. Sabay-sabay na lang natin i-animate yung hearts. Animation, add animation. Meron pang more entrance effects para hindi boring yung slide nyo. Dami-daming types of animations sa pwede nyo piliin. Hindi lang yung naka-preset dun sa taas pag clinic nyo yung animation. So, gawa tayo ng bounce. Ayan. Para medyo cute. Tapos, i-ungroup natin to. Pwede, pwede nyo kasing kantahin yung song for music teachers. Tapos, kiniklik nyo yung lines isa-isa kasabay ng beat as you sing. Pero hindi ko siya mapapakita ngayon. Sorry. So, animate din natin to. Split na lang. Ayan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Yung samples ng animation sa taas. Do not stick to that. Ang daming options dito sa add animation. Pero for this one, for this demo, lagay lang natin split. Okay. So, itong mga to, sabay-sabay natin silang bigyan na grow and turn. Ayan. Now, one one animation option that I love is the motion path. So, kunwari, habang dinidiscuss mo siya, pwede mo siyang kunwari lang, nilalagay mo siya sa tamang 
beatkeeper kung saan talaga yung rhythm na yun dapat. Okay, again, add animation, more motion paths. Ayan, may choice kung diagonal up, down, diagonal down, right. So, okay lang naman tong diagonal up kasi makikita nyo yung red na yan. Pindutin nyo lang siya. Kasi yan. Dalin nyo na siya kung saan siya dapat na beat keeper. So, let's apply it first sa iba. Medyo binabagalan natin para makita nyo yung process, ha? Medyo malayo to. Bakit ka nandyan? Good job ka dyan. Uy! Ayan. Okay, so pakita na natin yung itsura ng slide. Wait lang. Tignan muna natin po. Okay, kaya pa. Okay, so, yung itsura ng slide na to, pag click natin, mauna yung heart, remember the bounce, animation, beat keepers, and then ito yung rhythms. Now, kunwari nagdi-discuss ka sa student mo, tumitingin ka sa screen, tapos a-ask mo kung saan dapat ilagay, ayan, pwede mo na siyang isa-isahin. Kunwari lang blues clues ka at kinakausap mo sila isa-isa. So, di ba, it's a neat feature, I mean, neat animation yung motion path paths. Pwede siyang gamitin lalo na sa math for, in my opinion lang, pag you're doing slides with numbers. So now, paano ko gagawin na video presentation yung buong slide ko? Una, we have this what we call narration. So click on the slide, slideshow, record slideshow. So meron kang option pag binuksan mo yan. May option ka to record yourself. Ito sa baba, nakikita nyo yung icons. Pwedeng boses mo lang or together with the webcam that you're using. So, a-appear yung, yung mukha mo dun sa slide as you record it. Which is my preference kasi mas maganda na may personal touch and parang kausap mo yung student habang pinapanood niya yung slide or yung video, andun ka pa rin sa ilalim. So, all you have to do is record. Ayan. So, after that, bubukas muna yung slide. And then, habang nagsasalita ka, pwede, ayan, nagnanarate na ako actually, record in progress. So, lahat ng sinasabi ko comes with this animation na nagaganap. Lahat yan nire-record noong slide. So, stop. Pwede mo i-clear kung hindi ka nasiyahan at gusto mo ulitin on current slide or on all slides. Escape. So, Yung recording na yun, makikita nyo siya dito sa baba. Ito na yan. Pero, hindi siya makikita ng student kapag, of course, na-record mo na siya as a video file. Paano nga ba i-record as a video file? Remember, when you do a video file on your PowerPoint presentations, lahat ng narrations and recordings na ginawa nyo per slide, masisave siya agad. All you have to do is, sorry, ulitin natin, go to file, export, create a video. So, makikita nyo naman dyan, may full HD. In my opinion, hindi mo naman kailangan ng 1080. 720, okay na. Lalo, mas malaki kasi yung file kapag mas HD siya. So, mas mabilis din i-upload pagka mga HD 720, pwede na yan. So, you can see here, it says, it will use the recorded timings and narrations that you did on each slide. And then, create video. Kung nai wag kayong mainit by the way kasi nangyari sa akin nagtataka ako ang bagal yun pala meron pa ditong loading tab sa ilalim bago siya ma-export okay so that's it simpleng tips and tricks lang you can explore more about the powerpoint presentation personally and honestly hindi ko pa naman siya na-explore the entire thing baka meron pang pwedeng gawin actually if you do know the basics of encoding pwede ka pang gumawa ng parang, what do you call this, parang codes na magiging, like, pwede kang gumawa ng tic-tac-toe, interactive PowerPoint. Pwede siya, pero medyo mahirap na siya aralin. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching.